Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Came here tonight full of uh, hope that it was going to be a really good evening, which I'm sure it's going to be. I've now got hope for the future too. At some point, Professor Warwick and his team may be able to grow me a brain. <laughs> <laughs> We're now going to have a musical interlude, and Fraser Gleave, I'd like to call Fraser out. Fraser's going to play Chopin's Nocturne <laughs> Number 11 on the piano. And now we come to the most important part of the evening, and it really is one of the pleasures of my life to be able to do this. I'm looking out here at a very, very fine body of young men and women, of whom the school is extremely proud. I was really pleased, and it doesn't seem that long ago, to address your leaving assembly. Um, I'm sure some of you will remember my remarks then, including some of mine about my first venture off to university and uh, you've achieved the best ever results as a, as a student body that any sixth form has and there were 162 of you if you look in that booklet there's 162 names five years ago there were 94 names in the same booklet so we've grown the sixth form enabled many of you to seize and take wonderful opportunities here. There were 447 results this summer, 241 at A or B, that's 54%. <laughs> Moving on, we're going to the Little Heath School Prize for Academic Success, and that's always awarded to the students with the best results. But I'm just going to tell you something here first before I, I, I read out the winners. These students all got three straight A's. Luke Baker, Susie Boulos, Rachel Creaser, Alisa Gemma, Rebecca McKechnie, Arthur Swain, Rachel May, Rebecca Payne, Joe Yates, Karina Philpott got three A's and a C, Tom Bennett, Katie Healy, and Paul Shinjini got three A's and a B. None of those people are going to be called up. How good is that? So please, a round of applause for all those. <laughs> Winners are, there are five. We couldn't separate them. Some of them are getting other awards too, which I will also announce to save them the embarrassment of a return to the, the podium. 98 out of 600 in mass. And <laughs> I, think, uh, I think we should run computers on him. <laughs> Please now come up for your prizes. They are so well deserved. is awarded to a student who does extremely well having had to overcome some trying and deeply challenging events and this year the very well deserved winner is Rebecca Horrell. Yeah. Community Prize Award, which is going to go to Rachel Creaser, and Rachel is also <coughs> being awarded the Drama Attainment Prize and the, also the prize for English Language and Literature. Um, so very well done indeed. Rachel, coming up for your prizes. Finally, and again, in terms of the prizes, thoroughly deserved, 
a young lady who played in, I think, every school concert from day one in, in, in the school, did a fabulous job at the mall. She's also going to be awarded the French Attitude to Learning Prize. She is Karina Philbod. Chloe Clark, Vicky Cleaver, Adam Cole, Elwaz Coleman, and David Collier. <laughs> Jamie Cooper, Rachel Creaser, Rachel Crook, Chloe Crowther, and Alex Davis. Vince Cox, Cadence Dickinson, Rebecca Doak, Charlotte Eggleton and Kirsty Elmore. to you all. Um, I'd like to first start really with, it, with a thanks to Charlotte and Fraser and also to the music department staff who have just put on two fantastic pieces of music for us at my request really uh, for this evening. So another big round of applause. <laughs> This is my second presentation evening as, as head teacher uh, at Little Heath School, having done the, the Year 11 one a really successful evening yesterday. Uh, actually, I've already started a little bit of a tradition, uh, and I wouldn't want to lose it for, for the ex year 13s. I'm a big one for handshakes, um, and I'd just like to announce the two best handshakes this evening. Uh, the first one I'll do the boys was Joseph Yates, fantastic handshake. <laughs> on two counts because until about five minutes ago Susanna Boulos who took a photo at the front from some people was going to get the award uh, but then Danielle Cookup nearly broke my neck. <laughs> <laughs> so if we can give her a round of applause. I want to end by wishing all of you the best of the future, and I'm sure that I speak on behalf of all the staff who are involved with you at Little Heath, when we say that we'd love you to keep in touch, to let us know what happens in your lives. Thank you very much for coming. I hope you had an enjoyable evening, <coughs> and I'd like to pass over in a moment to Nuno, who'd like to say a few words. Thank you. speech tonight. One of the things that I um, picked up from his speech is that we're all better than others in different things. We all got certain talents inside us. Belief and hard work is the way forward to succeed in life. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 